Okay, welcome back. This is going to be part 8 of the uh, Wheel Horse C145 tractor repair series. Uh, I've got the mower deck off the tractor. Uh, right now I've got it suspended by uh, my my little lift hoist, electric lift hoist, and I'm going to bring you in closer and show you what what the problems are with this. Uh, I'm very not happy with the uh, way these blades are mounted. I think they're out and out dangerous. Uh, and so let me bring you in a little closer and I'll show you why. Okay, so we've got it up on the on the work table. Uh, I'll grab some tools and we'll pop these blades off and and uh, see what there is to see. Okay, this is as tight as I can get you in and have the camera focus. Uh, so I'll take a, I'll take a couple of close up pictures and and insert them into the video. But this is the this is the left left hand blade assembly as you're sitting on the tractor and you can see they've got a oversized flat washer which is concaved they've got a what may be uh, a split lock washer and over on this side here the lock washer is actually down in the center hole of this flat washer so it doesn't even, the, so the flat washer is obviously got far too large uh, of an inside diameter and this lock washer is pressing right through it so th th there's no there's no uh, convex washers or cup washers on here um, I don't trust that these are the right grade of bolts that are in here so I'm going to order uh, the bolt and cup washer kits for all three of these blades. Uh, let me bring you over to the center blade here. You can see that this one here is also a mismatch of, uh, of washers. You've got a, a large flat washer. You've got a smaller flat washer you've got a flanged uh, flanged head bolt um, and now we'll go over to the to the right blade as you're sitting on the tractor this one's uh, got another menagerie of of hardware on it so I'm going to get this apart and uh, see what we have to do I don't even know if these are the right blades uh, at this point but we're gonna order whatever we have to order to to make this thing safe uh, because especially that that left hand blade uh, that thing is just begging to come flying out from underneath this deck and hopefully not not take somebody off with the shins. So let me uh, 
get set up and I'm gonna uh, put this deck upside down on my on my cart because I don't really want to uh, work on it hanging from this Harbor Freight electric hoist. I mean the hoist is rated for 1300 Chinese pounds so it's you know I have confidence in it for maybe a third to a half of that stated capacity but I'd still rather have it sitting on a on a table than suspended in the air working on it uh, so let me get set up with that and I'll bring you back I'm going to uh, stop it here for a minute and I'm going to uh, take some close-ups of what was underneath this menagerie of bolts uh, so you can you can have a better view of what I'm seeing. We we'll back. Okay, so I've uh, looked at all these. Um, the one for the left side of the tractor isn't in too too awful bad of a shape. The center one uh, is shot, and the right side one is shot. Um, 
the center and right also had uh, what, what looks to have been roll pins uh, to, to locate and lock the blade on there as well as the the double D shaped lug in the center of the spindle shaft um, the, the, the pins are sheared off on, on both of those uh, the one the one on the uh, center the um, the lug is so chewed away it's unusable the one on the for the right side spindle is chewed away to the point where it's it's not even there uh, and the left side spindle just has a little bit of nubs uh, left of the locating pins uh, they, they seem like they they were roll pins I don't know whether those uh, are original or if that's what somebody used at some point to uh, for locator pins but in any event that seems to be what's in there um, I'm going to have to check and see if these spindles are rebuildable or if we just if he's just going to have to uh, bite the bullet and put three new spindles in it because um, this, this, this deck is obviously unsafe for, unsafe for use, unfit for use which is a shame uh, so I've, I guess that's where this video is going to end uh, when you're on YouTube uh, please like comment and subscribe uh, it helps me get a little better uh, a little better standing in the uh, searches helps me grow the channel a little bit um, so I'll confer with the owner, see what he wants to do, how far he wants to go, and um, and then I'll let you know. We'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.